great estate of Collinwood in parallel time, where the demented Roger Collins to protect his own dark part in the death of Angelique has burdened his mind and spirit with two additional murders and is now confronted with the necessity of yet another, the death of Maggie Collins. Roger, you know something, don't you? Something you're not telling. No. No. Roger. Roger. We're going to need some help, I think. We're... Roger. You've got to give me the key. Maggie. Aren't you afraid Quentin will be out there? No. No, not at all. I think you're right, Roger. I think he's gone away. I think we should call the police now. And what will you tell the police, I'll Maggie? I'll just tell them that we... That I killed Elizabeth? No. Carolyn? You've got to let me out of here! Uh, no, Roger! You no. know that you're not going to... came in to investigate, but there's no one there. What is that? What's that sound? It's nothing. You, Let me you, you Let don't me. hear anything. Maggie! Uh. Maggie! Uh, what? You was trying to choke me. Roger? You... Let me help you. Yeah. Come. He was... I was trying, trying to kill me. I know the truth. About what? He, he killed Angelique. Roger? How do you know? I know. He said something that made me realize that he had killed Elizabeth. And then he admitted everything. He even killed Carolyn. Killed Carolyn because she knew that, that he had killed her sister. Roger. Of course. Why didn't I guess it before? He was at the seance. He sat right beside Angelique. And everyone knew that he loved her. But she hated him. How could anyone love a man like that? I think we should call the police. Police? Yes, I suppose so. But the man who murdered Angelique deserves a very special punishment. Julia could revive you. But where is she? Where? Angelique would lose her strength. But what if I'm too successful? If you speak, then Angelique will be destroyed. And I won't be able to prove Quentin's innocence or discover the fate of Julia. Yet I've got to try. To do nothing would help neither of you. Oh, Roxanne. If you only knew, if you only knew how much we depended on you. And on me.
never seen so many state troopers in my life. They'll find Roger, don't worry. I hope so. I'm going upstairs. Will you be all right now? Oh, I'm sure I will. The place is practically surrounded by state troopers. There's even one right outside the window. Well, if you want anything, let me know. Catch him quickly. Please, catch him quickly. I am summoning Roger Collins. He is trying to escape. But he will not be able to. Somehow he will find his way through the police and come to me. We have had this rendezvous for a long time, Roger Collins. Nothing can prevent it now. Roger? Angelique. You know. I should have known from the beginning. But if I am Angelique, then I'm dead. I know. And you are not afraid. Nothing frightens me anymore. I have only this love for you. That's all that I have. I don't ask to understand anything. Only to be near you, always. And yet you murdered me. Forgive me, I beg you. I did it because I love you. I always will love you. Angelique, what is it? A chill. A terrible chill. Come to my arms, I warn you. Yes. Yes, of course. That is fate, isn't it? Fate or whatever. I want to hold you. Are you sure? I want it more than anything. Oh, Angelique. Angelique. You have forgiven me, haven't you? Hold me, Roger. Hold me. You're cold. Closer. Closer. The chill. I feel it too. Oh, Roger. I have searched for you for so long. 
And now you are here. Hold me closely. Kiss me, Roger. Pleasure, Link, my darling. Do you feel it now? Then hold me. No, hold me near you. What you said you loved me. You said your love was stronger than anything. What's happening to me? You are dying, Roger. No! Dying. You introduced me to the cold of the tomb, Roger Collins. I felt I could do. No less for you. Roxanne? Roxanne? Can you hear my voice? I've come for you. Roxanne. Open your eyes and look into mine. Feel the light flashing into your mind. It means I've come. You could never resist me. Hear my voice. Look into my eyes. Roxanne. Roxanne. What have you done to Julia Hoffman? Nothing. I don't know what you're talking about. Is she dead? Have you murdered her too? Perhaps I have. And perhaps not. What is it? Oh, nothing. You're feeling faint, aren't you? No, no. You are weak. It's Roxanne. Something is happening to Roxanne. She must not speak, Barnabas. She must not be allowed to speak. For once we agree, she must not speak. At least not yet. You will do my bidding, as always. When I tell you to come to me, you will do it. And when I say speak... I'm afraid, Mr. North, she will do nothing of the kind. Good evening, Mr. Collins. You know my name? Yes, from the signature on Roxanne's portrait. And from a time when I discovered her near a grave marked with your name. Oh, yes. My grandfather's grave. An old trysting place of Roxanne and me. Say good evening to the gentleman, Roxanne. No, she will say nothing. You don't seem to understand that she does as I tell her, not you, Mr. Collins. I'm warning you, Mr. North, one more word to her and it'll be your last. <laughs> You'll have to forgive me if I don't believe that. Very well. Roxanne. You say, Mr. Collins, you don't want her to speak? Take one more step. And I'm sure you'll force her to do exactly that. But you don't understand. The life of Quentin Collins depends on her silence. What a shame, then, that the life of Quentin Collins means nothing to me. Don't you realize how Roxanne has been used? No, I don't want to. I found her again, and that's all that matters. Is there nothing I can say to either of you? If Angelique is destroyed, then I have my Roxanne again. And that's exactly what I want. Find Angelique and tell her that, unfortunately, her final destruction is only a matter of minutes.
she mustn't speak. Quentin's coming to my room. I'm to meet him there. I've got to get upstairs. I've got to find the strength. If I'm going to be destroyed, Quentin will be destroyed too. Alexis, have you seen Barnabas? No. Alexis, is something wrong? No, I'm just not feeling too well. Is there anything I can do? No, thank you. Yes. Yes, there is something you what can is, do. What is it? You can help me to sit by the fire. Are you cold? I, I could get a blanket or, or a robe or something. No. No. I just want to look into the flames. Could I yes. get... Yes, that's better now. Could I get you some brandy or something? No. Stay here with me, would you? Do you mind? No. No. Maggie. Can you hear me, Maggie? Can you feel my power? If you do, touch my hand. Touch it. Now, look into the flames. Look at the light, the colors. Look at the flames, Maggie. And now, look into my eyes. Can you still see the flames reflected in my eyes? Yes, then you must look more deeply. Look deeper into my eyes. And now you will do as I bid you. Will you not? Yes. You will find a gun in the desk drawer. Go. Find it. for Quentin. He will come to you, and when he does, you will raise the gun and point it at his heart, and you will pull the trigger. Do you understand? Go now, quickly, Maggie. Go. Hurry, Maggie. Hurry! Can you hear my voice? Then speak to me. Do you hear me? Speak! Lord North is with Roxanne now. He's going to make her speak. There was nothing I could do to stop him. No. In a matter of minutes, you are going to be destroyed. It can't be. It can't be. But before you go, you're going to sign a confession that's going to clear Quentin Collins. I will never do that. And you're going to tell me where Julia Hoffman is. Never! Angelique, in a few minutes, it's going to be all over for you. Sign this confession. I beg you. I regret. 
returned to destroy Quentin, not to save him. But it will give you peace. Peace? I don't want peace. I want his destruction. And I will have it. You have only minutes, seconds. If that is true, dear Barnabas, then so has Quentin Collins. <laughs> 